Hello Wiz and Sellers, a massive thank you for selling books on our website but I uh, thought I'd do a video because when you sell books there is some maintenance that follows so it's dead easy but I thought I'd pop out a video together to show you what I do. So it's all driven from my account so I've got the my account section here and you go to my account home and from with, within here summaries now I want to go on to successful listings which is where I do all of mine from. Now I've just bought a book for myself from my 8 books user so um, there's one here to show you exactly what I need to do. Now that has selected all 47 books of the things that we've sold but as a seller I want to check and I should come in here every now and again to see what needs an invoice. So somebody's bought something off the website uh, they've not paid by PayPal um, but they've not contacted you to say they've bought it. You will have got an email from the website to say it's sold but you might have missed it or you want to just check now and again. So if you click on need invoice at the top here this will show you all the books that you have sold that need an invoice. To send an invoice just go to the book, go to the three lines on the end and then click create invoice and that will take you to the invoice screen. If the buyer hasn't picked a shipping option um, or you've agreed free postage and they've left it blank then you can select one for them. This has then got what they have bought, the 1911. If you're using a stock ID that comes now on the invoice which is a nice little uh, picking help for myself. Uh, you might have agreed free postage or there's another adjustment like a discount so you can adjust the invoice while you're here. You can go on to credit £6 free postage and then don't forget to click add adjustment there and then that will put the £6 minus there with the £6 postage there. Finally, your comments, uh, which should include your bank info if you're doing bank transfers, um, that is set up by going on to the, the listing preference payment in the general uh, user section and that brings it through. If you want to change it, you can. You can enter anything in here and then click save comments. If you want to change it permanently across all your invoices, change it in here, click apply comments to all invoices and then click save. Once you think the invoice is great, there's your address. The billing address will be um, whoever's bought it, and that's me at the moment because I use my own um, A Books profile. Then once it's done, you press email invoice, and then that then will send an invoice to the buyer, and hopefully they'll uh, send you a bank transfer pretty much straight away. If we go back to the uh, summary page, again back to successful listings. So I click in here, so I've looked at need invoice and invoice. So the next is who hasn't paid you. So if you've paid by PayPal, it's automatically marked as paid. But a lot of people are using bank transfer and check. Now the system isn't going to know when someone's paid you bank transfer because it's not linked to their bank um, or the post system here. So if they have paid you manually, then you have to make sure that uh, you mark it as paid for them. Uh, to do this, you go to all and unpaid. Now this is a nice little section to show you who needs to pay for the item. So if you keep it on top of this, you'll never know, um, you'll never not know uh, who needs to pay you any money. So we've got three things here that require payment. So this 1911, they've just paid, just seen the invoice, they've paid me by bank transfer, I've got it. So I'm going to go on to view invoice and at the top I can click mark as paid. You get a nice little paid symbol on the top there. And then you can either email their invoice back to them again to say, look, it's been paid. But either way, now you've pressed paid, that has gone out of your I'm owed money for this. And it's also gone out of the buyers you need to pay for this section. Sometimes the buyers get a bit uh, stressy about the, um, it still says purchase invoice awaiting payment when they have sent you the bank transfer. On the old site, I, I marked millions as paid once I knew it was. Um, but it's well worth keeping on top of that because then the buyer's happy too. Also under successful listings here, uh, you can see the feedback required and not received. So if I go to feedback required, so this is anyone who I need to give feedback for. So they paid instantly this 1911. So I'm going to click on here and then click submit feedback. Five stars. Don't forget to put the stars in and put instant payment. Thank you. And then click save. Now the good thing about leaving the buyer feedback is on the e feedback email that they get from the website. It says you've been left feedback please leave feedback for the seller, click this link to do so. So that should inspire them to go and do it. Now I know people don't use feedback much these days. Um, I've got so many that need feedback. If I just click feedback not received out of the 45 on here, there's plenty of the hair that people haven't done it. 
Oh, no, Bubba, but some sellers, if you're new seller especially, you want the feedback. So you can either send a message to the buyer and say, please leave feedback, or hopefully when you leave it for them, they will reciprocate and leave it for you. If you set all on the view, you can sort by whatever means that you want on your, your set, sold items, so price, title for the year, newest sale, oldest sale. I mean, sometimes it's worth doing all and doing newest sale every now and again, uh, just to see if anything's uh, you've missed anything. But um, everything will be sent to you on, e on email, so um, it's not necessarily to do that all the time. The other thing is messages. So in my account, you've got view messages. So anyone who sent you a message, they'll appear in here. Uh, to reply, you just click on reply to the right. You can delete them if you no longer want them in here. And um, that is the, the message section. So I hope that's helped. If there's any other part of the website you uh, need help on from a seller's point of view, then please let me know. I'll either add it to the video or just pop you uh, an email back. So thanks so much for watching and I hope that's uh, of use.